Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the legendary server it is episode number three and we are here once again in Combe we have two quests to complete these are just part of the festival stuff so Hobnanigans which isn't going to give us any experience but we also have the full festival quest which is going to give us some experience which in turn gets us to level 10 which allows us to now have a bunch of stuff. So, uh, level 10, 200 destiny points. We now have the passive skill for two-handed axe, two-handed hammers and swords, spears and journeyman. Uh, I don't know quite what journeyman is as a passive. Maybe we can quickly... Nope. Let's press the right buttons. Passive journeyman. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, so it's basically, I guess, just... Increases duration of revived effect to one hour. Oh, okay. I guess, and maybe there's a few things that require us to have that as well. Um, but yeah, 440 XP. It wasn't a lot, but, you know, it gets us there. It also gets us the uh, title of The Undying. So we had The Wary, now we are The Undying. But today we're going to be carrying on with some more quests in Comb. So we have a few things to do. There is also a quest over here. I didn't see you last time, but let us go and... Oh, I also forgot the Hobbit gift of the day and of the week. So let's have a look at quickly what those are. Some 5% uh, percent attack damage increases for 90 minutes. Those actually might be worth using on this server, considering we're going to be lower level. And a universal toolkit, which is actually really, really good for us, because that is going to be our crafting stuff for the moment, and that gives us a nice 20% uh, crit chance for pretty much everything, and a uh, mining duration and research duration uh, decrease in time. So that's quite good. What is your quest? You Friendships revive, renewed. Okay, you're seemingly like a vector quest, I guess. And then we also have... Do we have a quest coming over to here? Yeah, we did. Let's get on our horse quickly. Let's go over here. It's been a very, very long time since I've done quests in Comb. So I might be a bit lost, actually, which is kind of, I think, good. Because it's almost like reliving it. Or, or, you know, living it for the first time. Because, you know, I've never actually... Well, I, I have done it before, but I'm going to completely forget. But this is part of the prologue quest, so let's go talk to Ellie Cutleaf. Okay, Ellie, hello. Greetings. So, defeat Skunkwood's den mother. Okay, so that is most likely in Chetwood. Uh, yeah, I, it's in the, um, in the farm, I think. So, that should be fine. So, let's get on our horse. Let's head back. We have a quest to complete in Comb. Uh, talk to Rook Fennel. That really went well with our horse, didn't it? Let's get up here and then actually get on our horse. Talk to a Ru uh, Rorik Fennel in Comb. So let's find them quickly. And then also collect the Blackwald Strongbox, which should also be in Chetwood somewhere. So that's the uh, Den Mother over there and then up there looking to be possibly in the... Um... Where is that? That is, I think, in the sort of their base area. Okay. Startled me. Yeah, I did. I'm so sorry. Rogue Fennel Locksmith. Talk to Constable Sagefoot in Comb. Sagefoot is the one in the middle down here? Yeah. What's your need? Uh, okay. I feel the bad as you felt you cannot protect him, but what happened to Archer? I understand his hesitation. Let me think for a moment of the name he gave us. Scouts are coming and going at all times. One may mention seeing his Applewood. Would you okay. do something for me? So I find Rurik's master key. So where is the master key then? Let us go find uh, Blackwall Thieves. That is also in Chetwood, so that's fine. We also just completed a deed, which is really, really cool. So we completed that one, completing Breland Adventurer, which gets us the, um, you know, the next deed, which is Breland Adventurer Advance. All that is, is complete quest within Breland. We have now completed 15 out of 30, and it should give us... Uh, we haven't got any more trait points. Do we have any of these unlocked? When do we unlock this? Level 13. And uh, we can also have empathy now, which may not be the most useful to us. Um, I mean, it gives us fate, armor, value, and resistance. But it's all we have for the moment. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I also have to just get rid of these quickly. Uh, do, don't really worry about those too much. Mason Thorn. What can I do for you? Oh, we also have quests, I guess. Nope, just those. So collect Mason Thorn's ledger. Where is that ledger? 
the lodger's ledger. Also in Chetwood. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, four quests there, and one quest just before Staddle. Uh, we won't worry about that too much because that is assumedly a vector quest, and uh, we'll worry about that when we want to head over to Staddle. So, you know, we'll we'll deal with it when we get there, sort of thing. But we do need to make sure we're being a little bit careful around here because we are still quite vulnerable, even though we are now level ten. Uh, we are a little bit vulnerable to enemies attacking us and possibly killing us. And again, you know, we got to level 10 today, but we do want to get to level 20 without dying at the very minimum because we want those titles. I'd be very, very upset if we did not get those titles, honestly. Um, I'd not be too happy. So, okay, you have the ledger. Does anybody else know? Just the sergeants. Okay. Well, a little bit of lag, as usual, from the first time. I'm actually going to run away and see if he'll follow me. Don't hit me through trees. Because I'd rather just get him on his own. I don't know why I use that, but sure. I mean, we're getting deeds. I guess we need journeymen for that. Maybe that's what that is as well like just having journeymen to get those deeds but those unfortunately took away all our other quests so we are just gonna add these up it will keep them locked which is good so that is one done bring the ledger to mason thorn we shall do that in a moment we then have this down here to defeat the skunkwood's den mother which is just in this little farming area down here i did not mean to get aggroed by you and you're going to regret aggroing me. There. Regret it. So, I'm not sure actually. We have five quests to basically complete today. I'm just trying to think. I don't know what the average quest experience we're getting is now, but we need to get like 350 or something like that. Total. Uh, per one. Well, actually, really, we're not cutting that one for the moment. So, four quests. So, we need about 400 from each one. To, uh... To get to level 11 today. So, maybe it'll happen. Possibly not. I mean, we already got to level 10 today. I'm not worrying too much about getting through the levels that, that quickly. You know, I'm not too fast. 420 health. Nah, it's fine. We can... We'll survive. I think we're doing a lot better at surviving now. I don't know if what it is necessarily that's caused us to be better, but... You know. I just feel, personally, like I'm doing better. So, we need to go up to the uh, Blackwald headquarters. And then get stuff sorted there. I also still need to get some better stuff for uh, better jewelry and also better swords and stuff and armor. But we are going to get a um, bracelet here, so we can probably just go for them. Uh, I'll probably go for the will. I think a pure stat increase is better than just five power. Uh, and we probably won't be keeping that for long, especially since this will give us vitality or might. So we'll probably get the might one from here. Uh, this one is also giving us something. Oh, the lodger's ledger. Yeah, okay, so I was pressing that one originally. So, and then this will give us a axe of sorts. You know, maybe we'll use a two-handed thing. Is that two-handed, that axe? Yeah, it's two-handed. I probably won't go for that. I'll probably go for, like... Uh, I'll probably go for the mace since it has that uh, movement speed decrease. Though, to be fair, if we're going to be near them, we don't necessarily need that movement speed decrease because we're going to be next to them anyway and they're still going to, you know... We're going to be close to them, so we don't have to worry about, you know... It's not like we're trying to get away from them. I guess if I was, like, trying to... Uh, do you guys drop anything? No, you're just part of a deed. Um, I guess if I was trying to, like, get away sort of thing, then maybe that would work, but... Not quite what's happening. I think there's someone in there. I'm going to go this way, because I think the lockbox is in here. Okay.
Or is it the master key we're after? One that two, like, is over here. There we are, Black Horse Strongbox. Probably get there without aggroing. Yep, and then we just need the master key, which is going to be this way. We got a bit of vendor trash from that, so that's all good. You gonna aggro me? I guess I'll just go up to you guys. There is someone else here, as I thought. We'll just aggro and, uh, you know, AoE. Oh, I think I know who it is. It's that guy up there, isn't it? Because I think, what was it? What was he called? Apple something. Applewood, that was it. Yeah, I do remember coming around here just doing, you know, sort of, um, slayer deeds and stuff. Coming over and just, you know, killing that guy without really a second thought. So, that's, that's what I mean, like, why I said at the beginning of the episode. It is kind of like I'm doing it for the first time, because, you know, I don't really remember these quests too well. Alright, just a few more. He's in there, so we can actually go up this way. So we should be... Yeah, here he is. Applewood. Sergeant Applewood. So we'll aggro both of these guys. The hitboxes on that is a little bit awkward, isn't it? Oh, knocked me out for a little bit. Oh, you have 660 health. That is not fun. As long as you stay below me, I'm happy. And I can sort of just ride out of here and hopefully be fine. Right. That is five quests complete, ready for us to go. These guys seem to have taken everybody out over here so we can get out of here without really many issues. Um... Because, you know, they're all dead, which is pretty good. I do want to quickly just check. Oh, it was that's not even the same people that came over just a second ago to me. Oh, interesting. Or are they... I know, I was about to say, or are they... Like, you've also got this person over here, level 14. But uh, I wanted to just check how many... 17 out of 30. So we're about half... Uh, just over halfway. But I was just interested to see. Sometimes when, like... If you've got two characters on your account and you log out... Like, in the same place. Or no, if you've got two accounts running or something, and then you log out of one character... Like, I've got two accounts. Um, if I log out of my main and go onto, like, an alt on my main uh, account, the main will still be on, like, in my view. Like, I can still see it on the uh, second account. So I think... I don't know if that's explaining it too well, but I basically just thought they were, like, ghost characters sort of things where they're not actually there anymore, but graphically they were on my screen but no real point in mentioning it because they were there so yeah anyway uh five quests to complete mostly in comb except one over here and then we also have that vector quest here we will see just quickly how uh yeah, if there's any more quests after because i'm assuming they're part of quest chains uh, especially i feel like black wall thieves or more treasure will be what do you need why to take a moment or even just this one. Pickthorn's treasure. Is Pickthorn's treasure the one that... Okay. Uh, okay, the hanging tree. So, I was about to say, is this part of that quest set up? But it is. So, yeah. Right, this one here, is it? Or is it here? Stump. Hey, there we are. Why couldn't we have just, like, tried all of them and eventually that would have saved us an entire quest? Right. So, how much is that going to be? 200 XP. Okay, so we're going to have to finish a few more quests on top of that to get to uh, level uh, 11 today, which would just get us another trait point, which is what we're mainly after. Quickly want to see as well what we have to get. Because basically, if they've got a quest ring here, it means we have a deed um, that can give it to us. So this one here, we can get from Reland Adventure Advanced. 
This one we can get from finding the ruins of Breland, and this one we can get from Spider Slayer. I don't know why I didn't just look here, considering these are the only deeds we would actually have available to us. So Charity, Honor, this one would give us anything, and then Patience, and then we obviously also have, uh, you know, Empathy, which we got from completing 15 quests in this area. So how many are we on actually at the moment? So I should have looked. Uh, Breland Adventurer, we're on 16 out of uh, 30. Soon to be 17. Sorry, hey, there we are. Constable Sageford. Two quests to complete for you. Amazing. We're going to go with the Might one. And then we've also got what this one, which we're not really going to worry about, but we'll get the Will one. And any more quests around, or just Ellie to talk to, and then that'll probably move us also to Staddle today. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this will probably, well, it'll probably give us a few more quests, um, you know, afterwards, because it's obviously part of the prologue. But I think it'll take us to Staddle first and then to Bree, but we'll see. So, I, I said I was going to get the... Oh, this gives us plus 5 in combat power region. This gives us a plus 38 critical rating. This gives us plus 12 might, and it has a small chance of lowering things, but... It's two-handed, and I'm not sure I like the idea of having a two-handed at the moment. Um, we'll go for the armor for the moment. Let's I take a moment. Talk to Leecher Cartwell. So, uh, when Sergeant took me to come to check my mate Jagger Jack, that guy. Yep, he's training wolves for the Black Wilds. He keeps them mostly in deep in the ruins and all part of the woods. If we're going to put a stop to the Black Wilds, then we may need to do a little mission for our own. I don't want to do this, mind you, but we need to stop the walls before they're used to get to Combe. Leech Cartwell can help and will. Talk to him in his house up on the cliffs at the uh, south of Combe Centre. Talk to him. Tell him I have need of poison to kill the wolves. Okay, so we're going to go get some poison to kill some wolves. So, uh, looking back at it, we obviously got 209. I'm stuck in a cage. <laughs> How do I get out? There we are. Uh, 209, 209, 328, and then 292. And then for that quest just gone, we got 328. So we're 355. So this quest and possibly just friendships renewed should get us to level 11. Though we are most likely going to not just go straight to Staddle after this. But up on this bit here, I think he is, is Leecher Cartwell. So let us go talk to him, get this poison to kill these wolves. I'm a little bit worried about Jagger Jack because I think he might be a bit of a difficult kill, but I think we should be fine. You're a healer, what but I want I you to do the you? opposite. Um, okay, so we need to collect honey root, uh, black wart roots and red berries around the place. So I think I remember where some of these are. It always freaks me out how the ambience has laughing, but he's the only one in there other than us. If I remember correctly, there's some, yeah, there's some up here. Like behind this area? Or am I talking about something else? Something like beehives or something. Hey, beehives. I knew there was something. <laughs> I might just complete that quest while I'm here. Lolo, wedding way. He's only up here. I think it's the hobbit that's over here. Uh, oh, he's right in front of me. That's why. Sorry, I just walked over your ceiling. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Might there's some XP. Two, eight, three. So we're very close to level eleven. And Lolo hanging by his, uh, back from the bear that stole it for some not that great armor. We'll accept it and freeze. There we are. Oh, I have to actually go and do it in a time limit. Okay. Let's go kill some bears. I guess this might actually level us up since we only need 94 XP and depends if this drops it straight away or no. No, you didn't drop it. I mean, there's always some uh, light hides we're getting out of this, so. But that isn't too great for us because we actually don't really need light hides. We need, um, 
like metal for heavy armor. But if we can get like medium armor that's better than our, uh, you know, heavy armor at the current time, then I'm not too opposed to doing it. Maybe you have it because you're a big brown bear. But I did that just because it's a deed. Um, gives us some stuff to get. To. Hey, there we are. And level 11, there we are. So that gave us, yeah, 35 XP and of 28, 28, etc. So that caught us to where we needed to be. And then we have this quest to complete as well. So that'll give us a bit of XP, but not a great weapon. I did mean to swap over. Didn't we want to put on the might? And then want to swap over. So you give us 42 armor and 4 will. But the thing is, my stuff's better. So I will not worry about it too much. We also then have this, which we'll probably swap for... We'll swap for the honed uh, sword. A lovely day, isn't it? And then we'll go for the club, just because it is better. But we'll, uh, we'll do your quests later. For now, we need to go find some more stuff. So, some roots and stuff. Any, any around here that we can get? I don't really want to go that far out, honestly. Some berry bushes. So once we get six red berries, it should have the map only go to what we need remaining. So just the um, black wart roots, which we only need four of. So the map should be like, you know, have a very small area that we can access for it. So how many more? One more after this. Which means we'll probably have to just go back over to here quickly. To like this bush. Actually this one's probably safer. Or that one's probably the safest honestly. Right. So on the map. Okay. I kind of assumed that. It would be in Chetwood. Only because it sounds close to black walled so I just assumed because of that but either way it's all fine <laughs> but I do think once we've done this one uh, I think we'll probably end off for the day we've done quite a lot we've got two levels up in theory and then uh, it kind of gets us I think after this we'll be going after Jagger Jack so it gets us you know a nice starting thing to do at the beginning of the next episode and I'll probably end up using those 5%, uh, uh, where is it, the 5% attacks damage things. Uh, as I said, I don't normally use them, I normally just chuck them away. But when it's a situation like this where we've, you know, we're leveling up slower and stuff like that because of the, uh, you know, 60%, uh, you know, minus 40% basically of the XP. So we're getting 6% of the experience that we would normally get on the main server, you know, um... We want every advantage we can get, really. So where are these? Are these our... Okay, so it's basically by the wolves. Don't want to hurt ourselves too much. There's a corpse here, though, that we probably want to loot if we can. Just because corpse is always good. Uh, just for some extra items. <laughs> Yeah, we only need four of them. And apparently, I guess, there's not any corpses for us to loot. Again, it sounds really bad. But in the context of the game, it makes sense. I'll walk by, I'll press delete. There is a corpse. It's further up this way. I knew there'd be one around. So we'll get on this, get on our horse, head back, bring the honey to, uh, or bring all of the stuff to uh, Leech a Cartwell. And then we can uh, finish off the day, I think. You know, I don't know if it'll be a quest completion after that. Because it's probably going to be that. Then take it to Ellie. And then I think it might be quest complete. And then we'll start a new quest to go to Jagger Jack in the next one. But, yeah, as I said, you know, we'll, we'll do this. Complete the quest. Or if it's then instructs us to go to Jagger Jack, we'll end off there. And we'll start that in the end, uh, in the next episode, which I think will be good because 
you know, we got that bonus XP we'll get at the very beginning. It's really, really cool though, like with the legendary servers, seeing people still playing in this area. If you come on the main server to, you know, play in this area, cool seeing people actually playing through the map, like the starter areas again, you know. And then, you know, when we get uh, big groups of people waiting for the release of an expansion, like the next expansion comes out in, you know, like three months now or something. And then, you know, there'll be people, a big clump of people ready for that, which will be really, really cool. And because people have played it before, you know, we're going to know exactly what quest to do, what gear is good, what, you know, what to do. So there's not going to be as much confusion, but it's still going to be really, really cool to see. I've never actually really been up there with a group of people, like, playing at the release of things, except maybe Mordor. Like, I really wasn't geared too well, so I kind of missed out. So it's really, really cool to see that. You? So collect that and then head back to Ellie, as I had assumed. So we're going to go there. But I don't think we'll be at level 50, on this character at least, by that time. Because we are taking a little bit of a more casual approach to it. I'm not pl planning to rush through and uh, especially compared to how it was when I first started playing where it was one episode a day whereas now these are going to be you know every other day sort of thing like alternating especially in December again I, I mentioned in the December update video how that's all going to work you know it's going to take us a little longer to get where we were time wise that is maybe not episode wise but at least time wise though I've now got more longer episodes anyway so <laughs> It all probably works out better. Right. Trust Cartwell. Now we have a poison. We may be ready to strike at the Black Worlds in their Chetwood home. So finish that quest. We've now got to defeat Jagger Jack and poison six of the wolf supplies of food. So we'll get these greaves, um, you know, more armor by quite a significant amount. 100 and... Was 104? Uh, 114, actually. Armor and plus six might out of those as well. But we will do that in the next episode. So... <laughs> Just to have some fresh air at the end. But we will be heading out to Chetwood to the uh, Blackwater headquarters to defeat Jagajack, poison the wolves' uh, supplies, see if he's still T posing, because I think to this day he still does, or they might have fixed it. I don't know, I haven't been there in a little while. And we'll get all that done. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.